New North Texas, I'm meteorologist Aaron Moran. We've got a lot of new information coming in really just in the last couple of minutes, so I want to get to the latest. A severe thunderstorm watch has been put into effect, but literally just in the last 60 seconds, they have now added all of the Metroplex. This is kind of what we were anticipating, but we were thinking it was going to be a little later this afternoon, but now you see Denton Call in Dallas and Tarrant counties included in this. I know that the watch was issued for some of our northeastern counties and until 8 o'clock this evening. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm just getting some information in right now uh, for the severe thunderstorm watch that does include the rest of the area. So uh, we've got a couple of warnings, though, that I do want to get to right now on first alert radar. Uh, so one warning just over into Grayson and now Fannin counties. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. It goes until 2.30, so we've got about 29 minutes to go. The storm is moving to the east at about 30. 30 miles an hour. This is for 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter or half dollar size hail, I should say. So Bonham heads up to you if you are anywhere in between uh, the Fan and Grayson County line and Bonham. That is where the likelihood of some half dollar size hail and some 60 mile an hour wind gusts. We also have a new severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like this is for parts of Collin and Denton counties. I don't have the information on this right now, but just over Salina right now, we're talking about 60 mile mile an hour winds and at least quarter size hail. We've got more storms that are developing uh, to the west of 35 right now. So we've got a storm inching a little bit closer to Fort Worth right now. All of these generally moving to the east. So as I mentioned, a lot of information coming in just in the last couple of minutes. We're going to continue coverage on our streaming service, cbsnewstexas.com. You can find us on Pluto as well. You can download our app with the QR code there. We'll continue keeping an eye on this for you and we'll have more coming up in the next hour.